Alright, welcome to Responsive Web Design. This is one of the most important lessons we will have. Um, so you'll wonder why I have Kevin Bacon back up here. It's because as I resize my window, you can see that my navbar and my image are responsive to this change. But nothing else is. Nothing else is. So if I were to view this website on my phone or any other tiny little device, you'd see that um, this, which has a total width of 800, there's nothing happening except it's getting cut off. And there is a way that we can design things using a viewport. So that's what I'm going to teach you this week is the viewport. I'd like to show you a few things in Visual Code, Visual Studio Code first. I'm going to just create a new file here. And I'm going to name it uh, test.html. So here I am in my test.html. And there's nothing here. So there's a great shortcut, and I put a link to the cheat sheet in our this week's helpful links folder. If I hold my shift key and type the one, in other words, if I type the exclamation point, then I have a couple of options here. I'm going to choose the first one and it brings me a regular HTML skeleton. Now, there's things you haven't learned yet, like uh, this and this. This is the viewport tag that we'll be using this week. Uh, and in early code days, I just used to have to memorize that and type it. There is also a way that, let me close this. Ooh, I'm on test. Don't save. There is also a way that I can come up here to my regular document that is already typed. And the viewport tag goes between the two head tags. So actually, let me just scrunch this up a little bit. So if I want to put my viewport tag here, the shortcut for typing that is meta colon VP. And I'm going to click that. And there's my viewport tag. So modern web design, you do not have to memorize these long things. All right, let's move into the next lab.